Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and the 2019 Consumer Electronics Show kicks off this week and we're supposed to be given a whole bunch of information about HDR10 Plus and the products that support it. So let's dive in and talk about HDR10 Plus. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification, I put out videos every single day. You can also find me over at Twitter at MovieGuy365. So yes, 2019 Consumer Electronics Show, or CES as it is called, kicks off tomorrow, uh, January 8th. And pretty much this is the official slash unofficial launch of HDR10+. Plus. Now what is HDR10+, Plus? now if you are a, a fan or a collector of the 4K format, you probably understand what HDR is. and how it benefits what we see on the screen. Now, it's not just enough that we get a uptick in resolution between Blu-ray and 4K. While there is noticeable differences, there are certain 4K discs like Bad Santa 2 and Hotel Artemis that are just straight 4K. They do not support any kind of HDR. So while it's a noticeable uptick, it's not something that's going to necessarily knock your socks off. Now where HDR comes in, as well as the competitor Dolby Vision, which I'll talk about a little bit more in a few minutes, is it enhances the color gamut. Uh, we get a brighter, more vivid uh, color scheme overall. And now typically a HDR picture in itself is a beautiful thing to look at. You get things that, uh, like your colors, um, certain aspects of what's happening on the screen are just enhanced greatly. Uh, just like color timing. I mean, mostly things like, I'll use, you know, Star Wars as, a, as an example, where, you know, lightsabers and, and uh, laser blasts have a noticeable pop in their color. They look uh, a lot more alive and vibrant. Now, what we also have is the competitor, which is Dolby Vision, which is supported by several studios and continues to be supported in the 4K format. Now, there is differences between the two. HDR was the beginning standard, and Dolby Vision came in as kind of like an up resolution to increase uh, at a 12-bit uh, color scheme. So what we get is noticeable upgrades to the upgrades, if that makes any sense at all. So while HDR does have a beautiful picture, you are getting a slight bump up with Dolby Vision. So basically what you can do with the existing HDR technology is very limited. So in order to compete with Dolby Vision and operate at a, at a reduced cost, they have you know, implemented something which we will learn more about in the coming weeks, HDR10+, Plus, which is supposed to be a cheaper competitor to Dolby Vision. Now, you're probably wondering, oh my God, there's like format, format wars and that kind of thing happening. Um, well, that is... While that is like an over exaggeration, you know, it's not like, you know, back in the days with Blu-ray and HD DVD. Uh, what we have here is just the practical way to enhance your color using the, the HDR format. So while Dolby Vision looks great, the cheaper solution is to upgrade HDR to HDR 10 plus. Now, a couple reasons that they do that. Uh, one, Dolby itself as a company, as a, as a manufacturer of, you know, the wonderful picture that we get in the, the audio has rather, you know, substantial licensing fees. And a lot of studios are hesitant to want to implement that on every single title. Imagine getting, you know, random titles from the same studio, which happens all the time. One over here, when you're producing a disc, supports HDR, but why doesn't this one have Dolby Vision? There's a lot to factor into that. I, you know, it's box office sales or, or general interest in the movie. There are, there are reasons behind the scenes that we generally don't hear about. So while a lot of the equipment today does produce both HDR and Dolby Vision, not, there aren't a lot right now that produce the HDR uh, 10 plus. And that is something that is changing. Uh, a lot of existing TVs uh, purchased or built within the last year or maybe year and a half are getting, you know, support for HDR10+. 
you know, via a patch or something like that. But all, all but basically all the new equipment coming out from pretty much th this point on will include to an extent all of the, the formats, which we have, which will now become Dolby Vision, HDR10+. Plus. But HDR10+, Plus can also be, for lack of a better term, down resed to HDR10. So if your equipment, your TV doesn't support it, or your, your 4K player doesn't support it, you will still get that HDR picture or the Dolby Vision, whatever the disc is going to be. Um, so yeah, essentially, HDR10 Plus is their way of competing with Dolby Vision, but at a cheaper cost to the studios and to the manufacturers. You want It is a rival picture. We don't have exact comparisons, but supposedly since Dolby Vision does operate at a 12-bit, you know, for their color, you know, uh, gamut, um, HDR10 Plus will still operate within a 10-bit. And I think that the, basically you're going to go from HDR to Dolby Vision. HDR10 Plus will essentially close that gap. That's, that's pretty much where it's going to go. Whether it's going to dead even or not, that's going to require testing. That's going to require, you know, A and B comparisons. There's going to be factions on every side saying that HDR10 Plus will be better. At the end of the day, it's still just, you know, it's too early to tell. Uh, I haven't been able to demo HDR10 Plus yet. I'm hoping that's going to, uh, you know, be implemented into my television, existing television. If not, you know, that's something, you know, we'll have to tackle down the line. I'm always looking for an upgrade. But, yeah, so just so you know, you know, it, there is a new standard for HDR that is coming. A recent 4K release, uh, Bad, Bad Times at the El Royale, did include and was the first disc to include HDR10+. Plus. So we're going to start seeing in the coming months that a lot of these discs are going to be gearing towards that way, but also Dolby Vision is going to stay. But at the end of the day, what hurts Dolby Vision is the licensing fees. So more or less, that was why this was created. But yeah, so that's pretty much a, just a brief summary of what to expect at Consumer Electronics Show as far as 4K goes. There's going to be some new players. I'm going to do a recap at the end of the week, going over some of the new, uh, you know, technology for 4K and TVs. And, you know, we're going to really dive in. But I wanted just a, a quick video to say, hey, HDR10 Plus is coming. And this is what you might start hearing about in the near future if you are a 4K adopter. So yeah, go ahead and leave your comments below. Do you have a preferred format? What's some of your favorite HDR 4K or HDR 4K or Dolby Vision? You know, let me know in the comments below. So please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification up, put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.